see if we can hit that 55 miles an hour on the side of the box. That. All right, team, let's go. The highly anticipated and all new Arma Creighton 110 scale BLX 4S version 2. You've seen it on other YouTube channels and I'm so excited to have it here on my bench. Let's take a closer look at it. This is the teal blue color. Looks so amazing in person. Um, to be honest with you, online just doesn't do it justice. Let's take a closer look at it from the top very familiar design of uh, the paint pattern, as you've seen on the Yarma Creighton A scale. Something to note, got these little skid protectors right there on the front. Very, very sharp looking paint job. Zooming out here, these D-Boot Copperhead 2 LPs. Such a great, great tire. I love the Copperhead 2s on the uh, Arma Creighton EXB 1 5th scale and then the Arma Creighton BLX 1 8th scale. Just a great all-around tire. Man, this thing is looking sharp. These things feel so plush and nice. Look at this. Such a sharp looking 10th scale vehicle. Wow. Taking a look at it from the front, we got about an 18 inch wide stance, which is just phenomenal for a 110 scale vehicle. Something else to note, this front bumper right here, this does not come on the Arma Creighton BLX 8 scale. That came with like just a, a little kind of front insert. So this is a great, great feature to have here to uh, kind of offer us some more protection for those front end collisions that we all do have. This thing looks absolutely mean from the front. Zoom in a little closer. You can see that these drive axles right here, these are, uh, EX, this is an EXB part. So let's see how those hold up. But I have to say, I am really liking this stance and the width of it for a 110 scale vehicle. Let's take a closer look at the paint job. Nice and glossy from the front. Great, great job on the styling. Absolutely love it. Look at this little detail right here. Little 4S sticker. Love that. Very, very well done. Looking at it from the rear, first thing to note is it looks phenomenal. But zooming in close, this wheelie bar right here looks like they took the same design from the BLX 3S models and they put it on this 4S Creighton. And uh, another note to make, this does not come on the 8th scale Creighton. I don't think the 8th scale Creighton comes with the wheelie bar. So great, great feature to add on here. Something that I didn't see from the front that I should have mentioned is these sway bars. Great, great thing to have for handling. So you do have these sway bars on the front as well. You can get a closer look at these drive shafts right here that are EXB. Taking a look at the wing mount. Looks like we have a hopefully a stronger design for the wing mount. Looks a little different than the uh, A-scale Creighton's design with the wing mount with this little insert right here. Definitely, definitely loving that. Shocks. Look at that. Very plush here. Look at that. Look at that rebound. Very, very nice. Feels the same on the front as well. So looks like Arma made some notes 
from the 3S vehicle, added this wheelie bar. We got these EXB drive shafts right here. Got a new and improved wing mount. I'm loving these aluminum shocks as well, which do not come on the uh, Arma 10 scale vehicles. So you can uh, definitely see that they've added some beef to this 4S line here. Loving it. All right, let's pop the top on this thing and take a look at the inside. So taking a look at it from the inside, we got the Spectrum Firma 120 amp BSC and the Spectrum Firma 2400 kV motor. Got some EC5 battery connectors. Couple things to make note of. The engineering here, I love how they got the tower to tower brace, right? Like the uh, 6S Creighton has. Also what I like is I do like the platform that the 3S vehicles are built on with this drive shaft. You can see they have the high speed bearing right here. Make note, you can just pop this drive shaft out and then you can get to the uh, motor right away and change the pinion out with the gearbox right here. And I do love that design because it makes this vehicle very easy to work on. Let's take a closer look in. Very simple and easy design to do maintenance on. Absolutely love that they have this design for the 4S vehicle. You can take a look at the shock towers here. You can see the aluminum shocks right here. Kind of look at it from the top. Absolutely dialed in, Arma. Take a look at the wing mount here from the top. So you can see here, we got some space to put a bigger motor in there for all you gearheads that want to change out this uh, motor, put a bigger can in it, a lower KV, right? Um, like I said, very easy to work on, very easy to get to the gearbox. You really just have to undo one screw, get rid of this spacer right here, and then you push the drive shaft forward, pull it out, and then you can take this gearbox out. It's very lovely. You can see the battery straps here. You know, I'm not a big fan of the Velcro battery straps. Traxxas has kind of spoiled us with, with their battery um, systems, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Let's take one more close and look at it. Very clean. Before we move into some size comparisons, I forgot to make a mention on the servo. This is the Spectrum S652 servo. This comes in the 6S vehicles. And this is about 25% stronger than the ASM15 servo that came in the previous 4S models. So that is a great uh, improvement. Anytime you can improve the handling and the servo power, it's great, especially with these um, D-Boot Copperhead 2 tires on here. They are a little bigger, they are meaty, so it's good to get a stronger servo so we can get you know better handling. Another thing to note too is the heat sink and fan that come on the motor. So when we gear up, let's see how well this cooling system keeps the motor uh, at a good temp. But yeah, I forgot to make a mention on those few things, so I uh, had to kind of uh, rewind and do that. Appreciate it. Let's keep on moving forward with some size comparisons. So comparing the Creighton 4S to its bigger brother, the Creighton 6S, let's take a look at the wheelbase measurements. So you can see here, we roughly have a 14-inch a wheelbase on the Creighton 4S. Moving over here, the Creighton 6S we have about a 15 inch wheelbase, okay? So, a 110 scale vehicle Creighton versus the 1 8 scale vehicle Creighton, that's a very close in size, right? Even zooming in, you got the D-Boot Copperheads that come on the Creighton on the right, and then you got the D-Boot Copperhead 2s that come on the Creighton 4S on the left. Gives you a good look at the size difference in the tires. And I'm not gonna say it's significant, but it's definitely noticeable. I mean, that's fine. It's an A scale versus a 10 scale. Looking at it from the top, let's zoom out a little bit. You can see that they're relatively, I mean, not that different in stature. And I, I really appreciate that Arma made this 4S Creighton bigger than the last one. It's wider, it's longer. We'll get into those uh, details when I look at the side of the box. 
Yeah, that's very, very comparable. Very comparable. Taking a look at them from the front. You can see the Creighton 4S, if you can see in there, like we did earlier in the video, has about a 17 and three quarters, 18 inch wide stance, okay? Moving over to the Creighton eighth scale. You can see that it has about an 18 inch stance. So maybe a difference of a quarter inch. I don't have the exact measurements right now, but you can tell tape measure the tape measure. We got about 17 and three quarters, almost 18 on the left with the 4S and then the A, uh, the A scale Creighton were about 18. So the stances, definitely pretty comparable. Definitely comparable between a 10 scale and an A scale. So Arma didn't skimp on the size of the 4S Creighton. So pop at the top, this is where you can see some similarities and some differences. Similarities, aluminum shocks, right? Differences. You can see that, you know, no center diff. Yeah, get in here, you can see a center diff right there. You can see a difference in the drive shaft setups. You got this plastic one over there. Um, can't get in here, but you have a metal one, actually two different drive shafts that connect the uh, front and rear diffs to the center diff. Similarities, tower to tower brace on the A scale tower to tower brace on the uh, 10 scale Creighton 4S. But yeah, you can see that the electronics set up in that linear fashion over here. Obviously, you know, different with the 6S, how you um, change the pinion out with the center diff versus the 4S. You have the linear setup with the electronics, but you have the gearbox in the rear. But yeah, just wanted to give, give a nice visual of of how each of these Creightons, A scale versus the 10th scale look from the inside. You can see some similarities and see some differences as well. Yep, let's keep moving forward. Not gonna take a tape measure to them, but look at the 4S 10th scale Creighton versus a very popular Arma Big Rock 10th scale 3S. I mean, you can see that, you know, obviously the tires are bigger, but just the vehicle in general from a stature perspective looks bigger. Let's look at it from the top. I mean, look at those stances. I mean, that is definitely a pretty big difference for a 10th scale versus a 10th scale vehicle. Um, just wanted to kind of throw that comparison out there for a visual so you can see that the Creighton is definitely, the 4S is, leans towards the A scale when it comes to size because uh, it does come classified as a 10th scale, but so does the Big Rock. So just take a closer look here at the tire stature, even though these are the Proline Badland MX-28s on there, you can kind of get a good visual depiction of the size differences between the two vehicles. Inside, you can see the similarities and the differences between the Creighton 4S and the Big Rock. One thing, the tower to tower brace, Big Rock doesn't have that. These are plastic shocks. These are aluminum shocks. But then you can see the similarities, right? Look at how the electronics are set up. Heat sink, fan, servo, ESC, drive shaft to gearbox right here. Same setup over here in the Creighton 4S. Right? So you can see how um, this Creighton 4S kind of takes on the uh, some 6S engineering and some um, 3S engineering. And then in the back here, the wheelie bar, right? And then panning over to the big rock wheelie bar setup. You can see it's the exact same engineering there. So just something to make note of. Now the all new Creighton 4S versus the all new Outcast 4S, both version twos, both released at the same time. Let's just take a quick look at it. You know the Outcast is a short wheelbase versus the Creighton, a long wheelbase. Take a quick measurement to it. We got about 14 and a half, 15 inch wheelbase there. 
Moving over to the Outcast, you can see it's shorter, got about 12 and a half ish, 13. Sorry, it's not exact. You can get that stuff from Horizon Hobby, but just taking a tape measure to it. You can see the size comparisons are relatively equal in stature, but definitely you can see the difference in the length. Taking a look at them from the front, like I said before, 17 and three quarters ish stance here. Over to the Outcast, 17 ish and three quarters. I don't have the exact measurements, but from tape measure to tape measure, they are looking pretty equal in stance. The only difference is the length in that wheelbase. That's why this Outcast is classified as a stunt vehicle, whereas this Creighton's kind of classified as a speed monster truck. Quick snapshot visual from the top. You can see they look very comparable. Taking a look at it from the guts on the inside, exact same configuration. No difference there. Obviously the difference is the chassis. But just wanted to give you guys a visual there. Let's keep moving on. Taking a look at the side of the box, you can see it's now 21.54 inches long. And they say that is 19 millimeters longer than the previous version or three quarters of an inch. Very important to note. Also new here, the wheelie bar, tower to tower chassis. The wing mount, the shocks, the EXB parts, metal gears, CVD drive shafts, front and rear, complete lock nut for slipper, 17 millimeter hexes, all new. You can see some other all new stuff here with the bumper, front and rear. You can see some other wider and tougher important to note 17.72 inches wide 48 millimeters wider than the previous version you can also see here too all new um gearbox and slipper pad assembly gear mesh new front and rear sway bars so those are some important notes on the side of the box let's go to the other side of the box this Creighton 4S comes in two colors. The one I got right here, as you can see, marked the teal and the black. Also sharp looking too is the black with the blue. It was hard for me to decide between which ones, but I got the blue outcast, so I decided to go with the teal Creighton. Cannot go wrong with either color, both very sharp looking. Quick call out on the front of the box. EXB included parts, the CVD drive shafts and the all metal gear diffs with metal input and ring gears. Let's see how those things hold up, right? Because as you know, we bash these things pretty hard. We run them on road and off road really hard. We gear up. So let's see if these diffs and um, ring gears can handle what we do to them. Quick note on the electronics. These uh, Spectrum Firma electronics aren't really new to the Arma 6S and 3S lines uh, and even the 8S line, but they are new to the 4S lines compared to the previous electronics that came with them. I do not own uh, the version one Creighton or Outcast, but, um, but these are the new electronics for the 4S line and that is noted on the side of the box and figured I'd just show you guys that. So taking a look at what else came in the box, we have the SL T3 remote. We have the ever important get started um, booklet and then the technical pack as well. And then we have some tools and extra parts. If I'm not mistaken, these are for the shocks and I think these round spacers might be for the drive cups. Don't quote me on that, but that, that's what I think off, off the top of my head those are for. Yeah, so pretty straightforward what else came in the box. So team, we unboxed it. We took a look at it from the side, from the front, the rear. We looked at the insides. We did some size comparisons. 
we took a look at what else came in the box, there's only one thing left to do, team. Let's take it for its first ride. All right, Arma Creighton 4S version two. Let's get this thing started. Oh, wow. Tons of pep. Let's work our way to the street. That thing wheelies on command. I got the speedometer on it. Let's put it to the test and see if we can hit that 55 miles an hour on the side of the box. This thing is feeling lovely. See what we got here, let's send it down. Get it trimmed off. All right, see if we can hit that 55. Give the fire hydrant a little kiss. Let's see what that was. That is 51 miles an hour straight out of the box. I didn't even have it trimmed off. Let's send it back down again. All right, I got it trimmed a little straighter now. 51 is that number to beat. Let's bring it to us. Might need to might need to adjust that brake setting. All right, what was that? Still at 51 straight out of the box. Might need to gear up to get to that 55. Let's give it another run. Either way, that is flying. Don't want to hit the neighbor's mailbox down there. All right, let's bring that back, see what that was. Still at 51, I'll take that. Let's drive it around, see how it takes some corners. Wow, that corner's lovely. This thing wheelies on command though. That rock over there has crushed many of my cars. That thing wheelies lovely. Wow, just let off the gas a little bit. It turns on a dime for you. Let's bring it back into this corner with some speed. Let off the gas. That handles lovely. Let's bring it back, take a right turn here. That is very agile. I am loving that. Let's get a straight pass at us. That was all the way down. Car coming. This thing zips. Man, just let off the throttle a little bit. Get your line right. This thing runs lovely. Caught some air off that curb there. Let's bring it back at us. <laughs> this thing feels so held down. Forest is just lovely. So in control. I cannot wait to gear up with this thing. Look at it wheeling through that grass. It's like effortless power, effortless. I mean, I was coming to that turn full bore. I cannot wait to run this thing off road and bash it. Pumping the gas, it wants to wheelie too. You know, this S652 servo does feel nice. Can't wait to actually put a more powerful one in it. 
S650, the S652 servo is decent, but there is better out there. That is flying now. This lipo might be warmed up. I wonder if we beat that 51. I kept, I kept the speedometer on there. Nope, still at that 51 miles an hour out the box, which is very acceptable. Oh no! <laughs> Let's take it into the grass in the back and see how it goes. This thing's ripping back here. Oh! Yeah, look at it go though. And that grass is long in my neighbors over there. Yep. That is feeling nice. Even in the long grass with 4S, still has power. Look at the thing go though. Definitely has even wheelie power in the grass still. That is just so nice. These D-Boot Copperhead 2's ripping this grass up. Bring it back around. Oh no, my wife's garden. Hopefully she doesn't watch the video. That thing is feeling just lovely. 4S, you know, you wonder. Oh, ho, 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 ho. With 4S, I always wonder, you know, how's it gonna fare in the long grass? And these tires are just awesome. Just awesome all-terrain tires. Yeah. I love it. Look at it just come ripping through. I mean, this, just straight out the box, feeling just phenomenal. The Spectrum Firma 2400 KV motor, definitely doing its work. Let me bring it back through this long grass. Yeah, look at that thing get up and out. It is really, really just effortless in this grass. Oh. Quick note. Um, the lipo did wear out back there running it in the long grass and after the speed test, but let me tell you what This thing ooh, that thing on stock gearing is hot running in the grass Very very hot and yes, the grass was long. and Yes, I was hammering on it But man, I hope this heat sink and fan put in its work because that was stock gearing very warm Please make note of that All right, let's take it on the dirt See how this thing rips. Let's just see if I can clear, I guess, those construction blockers. Ho, ho, ho. Need to turn the punch up. Look at that thing, wheeling on the dirt. Let's bring it back again. See if we can clear them. Let's go. I love it. Jump smooth. Look at it just ripping in that dirt though. It feels satisfactory. The punch settings on stock. Let's see if we can get that. Ooh, you can spin it out. Oh, ho, 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 ho. let's see if we can get that backflip off of here, I guess. Ho, 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 ho. That is some air. Clearing the blockade. Look at that wheelie. Let me get a backflip. Come on. Not a clean one, 
but a little one. Man, this thing, these D boot copperhead two tires, impressive. <laughs> Took out the wood stick. Let's keep on going. That was a rip. <laughs> Let's see if we can get one more. This lipo, I don't know if it was charged all the way. <laughs> Threaded the needle. Durability test. This 4S Creighton feels amazing on this dirt. Let's get a good one again. Oh, baby. Oh, punch settings are stock and uh, definitely has some nice pep to it. Let's bring it back again. <laughs> Loving it. Grass, cement, dirt, this Creighton is performing. On those asphalt landings are not friendly for any PC. I don't care how durable any PC, uh, PC, any RC. Those asphalt landings are hardcore. Oh, oh, oh. Jumping like butter though. Let's bring it back. We got a few more left. This lipo feels like it is getting weak. Let's get a good one. Wow. I am loving that. <laughs> I have taken some pretty hard crashes already. So I'll be happy if we make it out in one piece. Let's go. Man, that is just feeling powerful and lovely. 4S Creighton, flipping like butter. Let's get a couple more in. <laughs> Sideways takeoff. This thing just wheelies on, on any type of surface. I gotta get a better run up here so I don't hit that other little sand bump. That thing is running down. I hammered on the lipo. I hammered on it. Ow, I just sprayed myself. Look at that thing go though. All right, let's go. Oh, I got speed coming in on this one. Oh, oh, gave it a curb rash too. <laughs> this thing has impressed me. 51 out the box, takes turns well, Rips the grass well, crushing this dirt. Flip 
flipping so butter on its feet all right let's see if we can get one more we got people turning in here hold on all right let's see if we can get a couple more good ones Man. Okay, light bulb's still kicking. Let's go, bring it back again. It is lovely. Pumping the gas, it is definitely responding well. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> so easy to flip this thing. It really is. Great job, Arma. Absolutely great job. Let's run it back again. <laughs> this thing is an absolute blast all right this might be the last one it's feeling weak wow almost took out the mailbox just bouncing on the terrain. Spectrum Firma, 2400 kV motor doing work, like I said. 120 amp ESC doing work. Oh, wow. Just jumping like butter. Must got a rock stuck in there or something. All right, lipo's still going. I guess let's get it while the getting's good. <laughs> running out of juice got it hung up all right let's see if we can get one more good one and bring this unboxing and maiden voyage to an end <laughs> and that is the lipo team let's bring it in let's bring it on in as always team i appreciate you joining me on this unboxing and maiden voyage of the arma creighton blx v2 4s and let's just have a quick summary of what we did we unboxed it we did a speed test it did 51 miles an hour right out of the box we ran it on the asphalt. It took turns like a champ. We ran it in the grass. It handled the long grass in the backyard really well. And then we bashed it. We had some pretty tough crashes at this you know, miniature construction site. It flipped with ease. These D-Boot Copperhead 2 tires accomplished all terrains. Definitely a very, very good all-around tire. This vehicle performed very well. It held up. Um, there's nothing broken on here that I can see. So it took the bashing 50 plus miles an hour out the box. This vehicle is very impressive. A lot more to come. I cannot wait to gear it up. I cannot wait to compare it to the Arma Outcast, a BLX 4S V2 as well. Please stay tuned, team. Appreciate the time. Every time, hit like and subscribe for more content like this.